Hello YouTubers, today's video will be on how my intercom system functions the way how it is. Now, one of my subscribers told me to explain how my system works, so they'll be doing it for him and the rest of you guys out there that want to know how my system works, so we're going to start off at my computer here, my master computer. <clears throat> This is the big computer that controls the bell tones, the cable distribution, the P intercom system, paging from the, the phone right there. Everything starts here. This is where all the magic happens. And obviously I use this for basic browsing and obviously uploading my videos on. Now you're going to, some of you already probably know what this, what this equipment does here, but I'll go over it again. <clears throat> So this is kind of like a stereo, a stereo synthesizer or equalizer, something like that, where I can control tones and select outputs, whatever new device I want to hook up to play over the system. So you got your input. One of the inputs is this phone right here, coming down from the tone generator, which is this pink box right here. That's where the beeps and the phone signals go into. That output goes here, and then you can obviously control tones and whatnot through that. So, and there's one cable going straight to the microphone port in the back of the computer here, which is this black cable here, right next to the this cable right here, right next to the this white 3.5 millimeter jack. <clears throat> it's sorry about that. It's just stuff to my throat still, but whatever. Just bear with it. And this actually amplifies the mic signal a little bit. This speaker is not in use. I disconnected it. I make it amplify the beeps, the intercom beeps, and my paging tones and whatnot. <clears throat> and announcements. Go into that this synthesizer back out to this computer. Now I have this bed skewed out a little bit so you can see all the cables in the back here. Now I have this HDMI to VGA converter. And this goes to the TV that you saw last week in last week's video with the text going up on the screen. It's getting all distributed through here and it just unplugged. I'll try to plug it back in. Yeah. So I got that plugged back in. All of these cables back here. And I'll explain this box here. And this is just a 12 volt box that goes to my 12 volt system. So that's not the part of this system. Goes all the way around the corner, right by that box. All the way through here. Back into the equipment rack. That's where all these cables go. And it fishes up through that hole there. Well, my coaxial line for easy installation and that goes to all these various equipment pieces of equipment here now that's just my cable box that has nothing to that has nothing to do with the computer but that's just my flat wave wine guard antenna going here and then there's my cable box so well, my new cable box so I used to stream things on but that's my new cable box because I got rid of direct TV. This is the RF modulator here. And I'll turn on the TV for you guys. And the TV should be firing up. So I'll let the tube warm up and might have to switch this. this. <clears throat> there you go. VCR right here. Now, this actually controls my output. Now, actually, just turn on this box for you guys so you get the point of it. So, this is actually the computer here. And that's that new box I just hooked up. So, here's that right there. So, this is my RF modulator. This right here is my CD player. 
So it's a DVD player, but I use it as a CD player. If I want to play DVDs, I use this computer here and distribute it to this TV. Now you may be wondering, how the heck do I hook up VGA to RCA through coax? Now there's a special unit that I bought a long time ago, and it's in one of my earlier videos called "How to Hook Your TV Up to." Well, how to hook your computer up to your old CRT TV. I explained that unit in there, but it's called a VGA to RCA converter. Just way buried in the back of there. And then therefore, the VCR takes in that RCA signal and converts it over to analog TV, which I get selected on channel 3 or 4. Also goes through these ports here. There's port, well, no, port number 1 and port number 2. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the other TVs hooked up at the moment, but, I mean, you get the point. You saw last week's video. Now, this is another place where the, all the magic happens, the receiver. Now, this receiver, I can control the tones in here and whatnot. Now, it does not control the tones in the workshop. But, except this knob here, actually goes, this is my input selector for the workshop, plus this. Plus this right here too, and you may see the screen light up because actually I woke it up right now. There's two outputs here. This receiver actually has cassette tape deck outputs. Port number one is this, and port number two is the workshop wraps and amplifier. So, just play some songs here. Then you can control my tone. It only affects these speakers. Trouble. See? And this is actually like another volume. I don't really play with that. You can turn this right or left. I always leave it at center. Always have my trouble up and my bass high. Now. This knob right here controls that horn and this horn independently. This receiver actually has three sets of speaker outputs. You got an A channel, B channel, and a surround channel, which I like to call the C channel. And then this is my tone bypass, which I always have that on. And this is my B channel. This is A channel I'm switching on and on. And here's just the horns only. This mini knob here controls the horns. Just the horns, and I can also turn them off if they ever get too loud. So that's how this nice piece of equipment works. So now, we're going to get back to this box right here. You see this box here? This is where the audio wires go out to the workshop. Going, coming out of that box, up to this corner. I know it's a little messy. I'm going to invest in some wire mold pretty soon. Of course, going out the window like you saw in the earlier videos. Of course, getting fed out the window, which is just some antenna. <sighs> And now I'm going to go in the workshop. And in here, okay. So remember those wires I showed out the window, coming out the window, they come out through this corner. All the way behind all this stuff, and you may see this is the audio wire. Now there's two wires there. One's a fire alarm wire, and one's the audio wire. This one going up the wall here, up to that corner of this fluorescent light here. That's my audio wire. 
going up to this styrofoam ceiling, going up these rafters here, coming out of this little hole here. They all feed down into this box here. And that's what carries paging, the paging system here, the phone and my speakers in here. And therefore I actually ran another wire up. It's actually in this blank, but there's another wire that comes up. It's an RCA gun, especially for the, the system here. It runs up this wall here, out through this little mini hole at the top, runs up, and it's the one in the middle there. The middle wire is the audio. Runs, runs up to the ceiling here, down the wall, to right here. My RCA connections, and yes, this is one of those RCA cables that used to see me run across the hallway. I actually cut one in half. This is a female end and this is a male end RCA and it's just a small little wrap. Of course go into my, to my disco input. <clears throat> to this receiver, well, actually this amplifier and I'll play it again. And it's just extremely low because I need to turn. So, I know the moment you guys have been waiting for, paging. Good one on too, thank you. Turn it up for you guys so you can hear it more. Good one on too, thank you. Just right like the... This thing actually has speaker too on here, but as you heard, there's some microphone feedback because this guy is a little loud, so it kind of interferes with the phone. And then this actually does beeping. That controls paging. And I could also mute on this phone like this. Mute it. Yeah, 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 like that. <clears throat> I can put it on hold. I can redial it. I can flash. Yeah, uh, you see the hold. Oh, 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 oh. just mute it. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I hope I taught you guys a little something about how my system works, at least the basics of it, because I know I've been getting quite a bit of questions about how the system works. So I hope you guys found this video interesting, and also a little bit of education with the, along with the video too. And stay tuned for more, and don't forget, you are more than welcome of sending me ma fan mail. Because I got a P.O. box, like I guess mentioned in the last video last week. Send me whatever you need. Just let me know on how you do that. So I don't accept money, so don't send money over. So stay tuned for more, you guys.